So the main thing everybody want to know and everybody is talking about, we're not going to play games with this one. Is Becky Hammond qualified to be a head coach right now? That's what everybody want to know. So let's talk about it. I think we got to put this whole thing to bed when it comes to the whole Becky Hammond getting a coaching job. Does she deserve it? What has her resume stated to, to want this type of job? All these questions are coming into play. When in reality, this is a unique situation and y'all know that. This is about history. And we've seen people, i.e. Steve Nash, no real coaching experience, just got the Brooklyn Nets, KD, Kyrie, and James Harden handed to him right in his lap. He wasn't able to pull it off. But we've seen people get opportunities, males get opportunities in this league at the coaching level. And we're trying to make history. When you look at what this woman has went through from 2014 to now with the San Antonio Spurs, yes, you can argue that the Spurs ain't did anything. You can argue that. I, I get that. I respect that. But when you talk about the character of someone in the locker room, one thing I know as a fan of the sport, when it comes down to her leadership, I need to hear it from the players. If Becky Hammond is not a real respected leader or someone that really couldn't carry a team over the hump, I need to hear that from the people in the locker room that she was locking in with day to day because those are the ones that are going to have all the facts. It's not all about what's on paper. It's not all about because she doesn't have a, a great resume of coaching experience. She's been under the best. She got an opportunity for a reason. Now, remember the, the, the one game that she did get to come in making history. I think they lost to the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? When Pop got thrown out. But still, if the players that follow under her believes in her from the Spurs organization and we don't see no backlash, she definitely deserves an opportunity sooner than later because people that have not been as qualified have gotten jobs way sooner. Now, when you measure her up versus Chauncey Billups, I know that was a big issue. Chauncey just coming off of a successful assistant coach tenure with the Clippers. The Spurs ain't been winning anything. So I kind of see the adjustment there. Chauncey Billis, one of the greatest players in this league. So I'm not mad at that. But let's stop acting like this situation with Becky Hammond is not about history. And history is alone, period. We're wasting our time talking about numbers, stats, resume, qualifications. She's she can to me, it's a no-brainer. Also, this is just all about history. And I wish people start to keep it real. Y'all want to see history. This is not nothing brand new, man. I just hate the fakeness. I just hate the fakeness. This is the best of seven sports talk, man. Seven Mitchell, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about Becky Hammond. What t Look, get rid of Frank Vogel if you're the Lakers. Bring Becky on to L.A. Let her coach LeBron AD. I wouldn't be mad at that either. Vogel's time has passed anyway, in my opinion. But you are now rocking with the best. This is the best of seven sports talk. I'm Seven Mitchell, man. Y'all stay safe. Peace.